projectile motion review question. So there are basically two things I can ask you about a projectile problem. Thing one, how tall is the cliff or the building or whatever something is projectiling off of? Thing two, I can ask you how far something travels. I suppose as a corollary to the how high the cliff or the building is, I could also ask you how long it takes something to fall to the ground. Let's tackle two different problems and see how these are similar and how they're different. In the first problem, I have a marble that is shot horizontally off of a table. I'm given the horizontal velocity and the time it takes to hit the ground, how high is the table? I recommend always with these problems, start with a sketch. Here's mine. Table surface, marble, shot horizontally off of that surface, it's going to follow a parabolic path down to the ground. Based on this picture, a couple of things. Delta Y is the height of the table. Delta X is the horizontal range of the marble. In other words, how far it travels horizontally. And now let's look at the relationship. Okay, recall this. In the horizontal direction, the velocity is constant. There are no forces acting on the marble. You may neglect air resistance for these problems. So, when you have a constant velocity problem, remember that the distance something travels is equal to the velocity it's traveling at times the time that it travels for. You might recognize this from a prior class as distance equals rate times time. Um, in the y direction, however, you've got the force of gravity acting to accelerate the marble. Now there are a lot of different kinematic relationships you might evaluate for this, um, but the one that really matters the most for us is that the height is equal to the initial velocity times the time of fall plus a half times the acceleration times time squared. But, let's add this here in another color, the vertical velocity initially is zero, making this entire first term disappear from the equation. So effectively you're going to work with the change in height is a half a t squared. For this particular problem, I have that the initial velocity is 5.4 meters per second in the x direction. The time it takes to fall is 0.44 and in this case, I'm going to try, well, I'm going to actually solve for the height of the table. So recall that your acceleration vector is negative. So the delta y number that you get will be a negative value. Let me grab my calculator. Oh. Take that back. I'll let you crunch the numbers. This will give you a delta y. So one piece I could ask is how high is the table? The next piece we might solve for is I'm going to ask you what's the range of the marble?
Really what I mean by range is how far does it travel horizontally? So now we're talking about the horizontal distance. So I know the initial velocity. I know the time of flight. And I'm trying to answer what's the change in the horizontal position. Therefore, the change in position of the marble is the velocity it travels at times the time it travels for. I'll let you crunch the numbers to answer that numerically for what is the range of the marble. That, in a nutshell, covers the projectile motion that we learned about. Other things I might ask you is how fast is the marble going? in the vertical direction when it lands on the ground. Okay. For that, analyze your kinematics equations, choose an appropriate one, and use some of these answers that we've already solved for. Hope this helps you review projectile motion for our final exam in the spring of 2013.